Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll be changing the drive shaft on my Ford Transit Custom because I'm getting a bad noise in the cabin. Now in the last video you would have seen me change the wheel bearing for the same reason. Had a bad noise in the cabin, I thought it's the wheel bearing, changed it, the noise is still there. I've looked around under the van and I think one of the CV joints has slight play and that may be the reason why I'm getting that horrible winding noise at around 60 miles an hour anything below 40 you don't hear the noise very much and anything above 70 um, again the noise tends to go away and i had to do a voiceover recording on this one because it's a miserable winter's day it's about five degrees celsius outside and there's 40 mile an hour winds so you'll hear a bit of the wind in the background i'll try and reduce that as much as possible Now, today I'm having a lot, a lot easier time undoing all the bolts because I've greased everything up during the last job and it's pretty much the same things need to come off and you'll see through the video what you need to do. You need to remove the center nut on the drive shaft, remove the drive shaft out, um, remove the uh, swing arm bolt and that's a bit of a hazard because that's where most of the finger incidents tend to happen. And uh, after that, it's just uh, removing the drive shaft, fitting the new one in. Here I have a tool specifically for this type of ball joints, but on the Ford Transit, the tool is just a little bit too small and I can't get it in. So I'm just gonna have to resort back to hammer. Off camera I used the pry bar, the hammer and I managed to get the ball joint disconnected from the swing arm. So I've now broke loose the two bolts, one here, one up there which you can't see very well. Um, but I'm not going to take it all off, I just wanted to see if I can get this far. And uh, basically I've been able to remove all the bolts that need to be removed. So now I'm just going to try and uh, drain the gearbox oil because the drive shaft, once you take it out, all the gearbox oil is going to leak out. So drain the gearbox oil out first and then uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and remove it. I've got the new drive shaft waiting. There's a drain plug on the gearbox with a hex head and unfortunately on my car that's been bound off so there's no way of me removing that drain plug and letting the oil drain out so i've had to resort to using the suction pump through the filling plug of the gearbox to try and remove as much oil as possible i highly recommend removing the brake caliper as well i didn't remove it in this case but the brake line was not long enough to try and pull the um, drive shaft out and it was causing me a lot of trouble when trying to put the new drive shaft in. So when you're doing it, uh, make sure you remove the caliper so you don't damage the uh, brake, ho brake hose.
Don't forget to put back the bracket that holds the center bearing of the drive shaft. Now I'm filling back the gearbox with the same oil that came out. I'm gonna have to change this one, but I only wanna do it once I get the drain plug sorted. And just like that, the job is done. It's now just tightening the center bolt, uh, torquing it to the correct spec, and then tightening the, the wheel nuts.